biofortified. What the hell am I talking about? What's biofortified? I don't know. But I do want to tell you what they're trying to tell us. Because all these years and all this time, they've been using language to twist things. It's all political science. It's all politics. It's all everything. You know what I'm talking about? It's all weather science and all political weather. Political weather. Let's put it that way. And what's going on? Well, there is a lot going on. What the heck is biofortified? I don't know. Well, let's find out what biofortified is and what they're shoving down our throats. I mean, literally shoving down our throats, not figuratively. All right, here it is. The term GMO got such a bad rap, now they are changing it to biofortified. They should have a biofortified team with capes and cape crusaders protecting the world. Uh, they do this... Uh, sleight of hand changing the terms all the time to confuse people. Remember when climate change used to be called global warming in the early 2000s? And then before that, it was called the Ozone Protection Layer Act in the 80s. And then before that, it was acid rain in the 60s and 70s. And then before that, it was the Methane Protection Act in New England in the 1870s and 1880s to charge farmers for heads of cattle. So that they're always changing it. Uh, so here it is. Remember when climate change used to be called global warming in the early 2000s and then earth is cooling instead of warming so much is so much it was snowing in Egypt. I remember that. I saw photos of that. Uh, they changed the term from global warming to climate change so they can have it both ways. Exactly. Climate change is an umbrella term which include both warming and cooling. Exactly. It's going to rain tomorrow. Biofortified is an umbrella term which include both natural selective breeding and genetic modification. This way, the media can honestly say biofortified means selective breeding. They, they are only half lying when they say that. It's the same old, uh, same old playbook, these psycho trying to trick people. Uh, they do this all the time deliberately to hide GMO and to confuse people. Sorry, guys, I'm reading this through the, like directly through the phone. So uh, they changed GMO labeling to biofortified just so you know when reading food labels. So there it is right there. That's who's actually bringing that out there. I'm not sure who that is, but this email was sent to me. So I kind of wanted to. There's the bio dictionary, blah, blah, blah. Biofortification definition and meaning dictionary.com. Biofortification definition, the process of breeding uh, staple crops to have higher levels of essential nutrients, uh, either through selective breeding or genetic modification. Uh, iron, a biofortification of rice, a biofortification of wheat um, with the zinc. See more. So then it goes into there. Then GMO foods will soon be mislabeled as biofortified. Don't worry about the phone ringing. That's just Google Maps calling me every couple of hours to tell me something that it's a robot. Okay, that definition would uh, then be used to uniformly around the world to apply to those foods conventionally fortified with higher levels of nutrients. And everyone would be on the same page whenever the term biofortified was used. Indeed, the National Health Federation, another uh, another alphabet group here, a health freedom organization accelerated by Codex to participate in its. So there it is right there. It gives you a biofortification on Wikipedia. Biofortification is, is the idea of breeding crops to increase their nutritional value. This can this can be done either through conventional selective breeding or through genetic engineering. So there it is right there. They are changing the rules or they're re renaming or rebranding the language. So they changed GMO to biofortified. They're constantly doing this all the time, folks. This is not something that's just happened last week. They're always renegotiating the rules as they go along, right? And this is something that's been happening it's been it's been happening the sleight of hand trick's been happening since the beginning of time and if you tell enough people they'll believe it and now is the biofortified going to divide families at the home that's the question no one's asking our families have been divided at the home from all kinds from global warming and oh you don't believe in global warming everyone was a climate expert when global warming was happening and florida was going to be on the water my barber, my mechanic, my the lady that picks up cans and bottles uh, uh, for recycling, all climate experts. All of them are climate experts. And then nothing happened, and I guess 
Now it's whatever the agenda is or whatever they want people to believe. So this is it, guys. So GMO labeling has changed. So I wanted to put this up there for you guys to let you guys know to read the instructions. And it's going to get to a point, and I'm going to say it here boldly, that they're just going to remove the ingredients and make it illegal for people to know. Just like in Canada, they tried to remove uh, where the meat was imported from a few years back. They tried to do that in Canada. Where Why do people need to know where their meat's coming from? Right? So you'll have a country out of China that says, Alberta, Alberta farm grow meat. Right? Because they could do that in China. And then sell it here into the markets in Canada. And you think you're buying Alberta homegrown meat. But it's really coming from China, right? And that's a big problem. That's been a big problem for protecting the consumer and the little people on the ground. And the people that don't want to go around reading labels because their governments are supposed to be doing their jobs with our tax dollars to be protecting us. But that hasn't been the case in a long time now. Many years now. Anyways, guys, they brought us here to build this infrastructure, and now they're getting rid of us. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Mike Martin's here. Thanks for joining, liking, and subscribing. I have spoken.